right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate it. Take it one day at a time. Most definitely, y'all, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. And let us thank the Lord for constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love. He is constantly protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, guiding us through the afternoon, getting us through the evening, getting us through the night. Various ways he's looking out for us with the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his only begotten son dying for our sins, his word. There's plenty of things to thank the Lord about. There's so much things he's done throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us, amen, because his mercy endures forever, amen. So always rejoice about something, always thank him for something, amen. Definitely, people. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all, okay? Let's always uplift each other in Christ. Let's always encourage each other in the Lord. Brothers and sisters of the faith, let's always intercede for each other, comfort one another, all those things, y'all. Let's be on one accord for the most high. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth. Much love to all the scattered Israelites among the nations upon the ends of the earth. Much love to all the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine and gatherings and the teachings. Much love to the brave, courageous martyrs who did it before us and all the isolated, brave believers out there who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted and enduring a lot of hardships for the Most High. Much love to all the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the engrafted Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds, everybody all over the world. Any brand new converts, God bless you too. Anyone who just gave life to Messiah, who just got baptized, who just repented, who just believed, God bless you as well. Welcome, all love, all right? Most definitely, people, welcome everyone. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faiths, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted and grafted in, it is all right. Let's get together and praise the Lord. Sing a new song. Clap our hands. Stomp our feet. Praise him. Rejoice. Always rejoice. People cry out to him. Express yourself for the Lord, y'all. Always serve him with gladness and joy and worship in spirit and truth. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let's keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night. He has come back in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. So let's stay ready, alert, sober, vigilant. Let's keep the commandments, keep the testimony of the Messiah. Let's keep the faith, keep doing the great commission, keep doing Father's business and Father's will, keep our lamps and our oils, keep being washed by the water through the word, washed by the water by the word. All right, let's be on point in these times that we're in and keep on doing Father's business and keep on helping people, okay? Most definitely, y'all. Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us more often through dreams and visions and encounters. All types of ways of interacting more expressively. Let us listen better. Let's be more obedient to the Most High. And let's know Him better. Let's get close to Him. Let's seek His face, y'all. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High tells us personally, according to our personal life, our calling, our situation, our future, our task, our assignments, anything. Honor it, people. Handle it. Let's be more responsible. Let's be more steward, better stewards. Let's be more better managers. Let's be more accountable. And, and handle it, all right? Let's be stronger and better with the things we do for the most high, okay? Praise the Lord, y'all. So I hope that y'all strong and solid out there, okay? Now, today's message, we will go through today's Bible reading. We'll go through recommended reading scriptures. We'll go through a commentary. And then from there, we will close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing. And we will close out giving all the praise, honor, glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. All right. Today's Bible reading is Psalm 42 in its whole entirety. Psalm 42 verses 1 through 11. The recommended reading scriptures is Psalm 63 in its whole entirety. Psalm 63 through verses 1 through 11. And also the book of Luke chapter 22 verses 39 through 46. 
All right, the title of this commentary is Tactics for the Thirsty Soul. Isn't it amazing how the Bible talks about the soul? Scripture not only portrays what the successful, victorious, and satisfied life feels like, but God's word also offers many examples of people who battle for their faith and grow weary. In this psalm, the songwriter longs deeply for God, taunted by his enemies. His soul knows deep despair and turmoil. But rather than caving into the flood of adversity, the desperate follower cries out to God, how does he wage this battle? First, the songwriter honestly expresses his feelings to God. Rather than denying his pain, he pours out his soul, see verse 4, and brings his frustration and sense of abandonment to God, see verse 9. Second, he engages his own memory. The songwriter recalls blessed times of worship with the people of God, see verse 4. And more significantly, significantly, he remembers God himself, see verse 6. Third, the songwriter talks to himself, or perhaps more accurately, he addresses his own soul. He repeats the refrain, put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God, verse 11. All those adversaries taunt him and continually tell him lies. The psalmist aggressively counters their negative slurs with his own message of hope in God. Finally, note that the songwriter wrote about his struggles. The fact that his words still exist today indicates that he battled for his soul by giving expression to his grief and hope. If you're engaged in a battle to make your faith real and growing tired and are growing tired of the conflict, don't give up the fight. Long for God. Thirst for him. If you feel comfortable doing so, record your struggles on paper or in a file on your computer. When you pursue God, scripture promises that you'll find him. Pray for God to flood your soul with relief. And don't forget to challenge yourself in the same manner of the psalmist in verses 6 and 11. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. Do you ever long for God so much that you feel yourself dying of thirst to experience his presence and refreshment? Have you ever preached to your own soul? If you were to do so, now what would you, what would you say to yourself? When you have sensed relief from your thirst for God, how can you repeat that experience? Quote, unquote, in other words, preach the gospel to yourself daily. Quote, Jerry Bridges. Amen. All right. So anybody out there who thirsts or hungers for righteousness, they shall be satisfied. They shall be filled. Amen. The Messiah said that. All right. So constantly keep crying out to the most high in various ways through prayer and everything like that and release people. All right. Anything you feel deep down inside, let the Lord know it. Amen. Praise the Most High. So that is the commentary, all right? What I love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. So much love to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. And much love to the Son who died for our sins. All right, so here we go. Hallelujah. I praise the Most High God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Israel. Most definitely, y'all. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the Most High always, y'all. His only begotten Son died for our sins. He rose up three days later, y'all. Praise the Messiah, most definitely. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, y'all. The Advocate, the Almighty, True and Living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The Apostle by profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed only potent, the blessed only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord. God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, the I am, who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King Eternal. He is a king of Israel. Amen. He is a king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the King of kings, the Lord of lords, Hosanna of the highest praise, Hosanna, son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of the saints, King of saints, King of the ages, King of the Jews, the King, the Lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone. 
The Lord is my banner. The Lord is our shield. The Lord is our protector. He is our provider, our redeemer, our healer, our salvation, our strength, our high tower, our buckler, our shield, our refuge, our good fortress, all that y'all praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Hayesha, Yeshua, Hamashiach. Barakatha Shalom Shalom Yeshua Elohim Yehosha Yehusha Yehosha Ahai Yeshaya Adonai He is a consuming fire Yehua He is the Father of lights the Father of the fatherless the Father of widows the Father of mercies He is the God of heaven and earth His Son sits at the right hand of Him the government rests on His shoulders He is the great physician who can heal all things He's the carpenter who can fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days. The rest on the seventh day. You can fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus, y'all. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him. He'll show you great mighty things, y'all. Search your secret with all your heart. You will find him. It is impossible. Please, God, without that faith. So you need that faith. Gotta know he exists. Gotta believe in him. Gotta trust in him. Gotta call on him, people. Faith, 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 faith. That works is dead, people. Faith, obedience, works, works, righteousness. All those things align together, people. Patience. God's timing, his timing is due. Timing is perfect timing. Amen. Praise the most high forevermore, y'all. Your faith made you well. Your faith saved you. Your faith got you through favor, faith, grace, mercy, favor for the rest of your life. Most definitely the most high will do it for us, y'all. Praise him always. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracles, signs, wonders, all those things. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We know that the outstretched armor of God's gonna be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God's gonna be in our lives forever. The finger of God's gonna be in our lives forever. Amen. Most definitely we touch and agree, y'all. Praise him, seek him, y'all. He got us, y'all. Praise him. Hallelujah. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty wonder, morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God. The precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrected, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone of builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah. Most definitely, y'all. We know that his word is purified, so just as David said in Psalms. We know that every word of God is true, pure, false, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his word is a double S, as the book of Hebrews says. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. So that is the word for today. Amen. Praise the most high. Always, people, stay strong and encouraged out there. Take it one day at a time, people. All right. One day at a time, y'all. All right. I would like to read Psalm 42. For the director of music, a masculine of the sons of Quran, as the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night. While men say to me all day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I used to go with the multitude, leading the procession to the house of God, with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mazar, deep calls to deep. On the war of your waterfalls, all your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day, the Lord directs his love. At night, his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. To the God of my life, I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, where is your God? Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why are you so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Amen. Let me give you a prayer blessing on the way out. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon Shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.